To remove and install the front upper control arm on your Ranger XD 1500, follow these steps. Park the vehicle on a flat, level surface. Ensure it is in park and remove the key. Next, remove the wheel from the vehicle. Begin by loosening the lug nuts while the vehicle is on the ground, but do not remove at this time. Then, safely elevate the vehicle. Reference your owner's manual for proper lifting techniques. Once safely elevated, remove and retain the lug nuts and set aside. Then, remove the wheel and set aside. On Northstar models, remove the front bumper and disconnect the auxiliary lights. Then, remove the winch. Refer to your service manual for bumper and winch removal. Next, remove the lower shock fastener from the upper control arm. Then, remove the screws that fasten the brake line retainers to the upper control arm, and then remove the brake line from the clip. After this, remove the two brake scraper bolts and set aside. Next, remove the upper ball joint pinch bolt and nut from the knuckle. Now, using a soft face hammer, tap on the knuckle to loosen the upper control arm ball joint end while lifting upward on the control arm. Completely remove the ball joint end from the knuckle. Then, remove the four steering gearbox fasteners from the chassis. Next, loosen and remove the upper control arm fasteners and remove from the vehicle. The locking agent on the existing bolts were destroyed during removal. Do not reuse the old hardware. Serious injury or death could result if fasteners come loose during operation. Now, examine the control arm bushings and pivot tube. Replace if worn. Discard the hardware. If reusing the control arm, thoroughly clean with a shop rag before reinstalling. Then, if replacing, insert new pivot tubes, control arm bushings, and pivot seals into the control arm. Make sure the control arm bushings are fully installed inside the control arm before installing the pivot seals. Now, install the upper control arm assembly onto the vehicle frame with new fasteners and torque to specification. After this, install the steering gearbox fasteners to the chassis and torque to specification. Next, insert the upper control arm ball joint end into the knuckle and install a new upper ball joint pinch bolt and nut into the knuckle and torque to specification. Now, install the screws that fasten the brake line retainers to the upper control arm. And then put the brake line in the clip. Then, Install the brake scraper and two fasteners. Torque to specification. Next, attach the shock to the control arm with new fasteners and torque to specification. Then, on Northstar models, reinstall the winch, front bumper, and connect auxiliary lights. Torque to specification. Refer to your service manual for winch and bumper installation. Next, install the wheel on the vehicle and tighten the lug nuts until fully seated. Once installed, safely lower the vehicle until the tires begin to touch the ground. This will keep the wheel in place when torquing. Once lowered, torque the lug nuts to specification in a crisscross pattern. Finally, lower the vehicle completely to the ground. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit Polaris.com.